Boys, girls, cats, and squirrels, what is going on? My name is Leighton Sultan. Welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke here on the channel. I know it's been a while, so let's not waste any time. I'll talk about what's been going on as we go through the video. First things first, we gotta start off with the team recap because it's been like two weeks since I've last recorded, so I do not remember anything. First up, we got Slack the Vigoroth, level 33, with the Kenai ability. Oh yeah, we have a lucky egg. Kind of forgot about that. We got the move Slash, Tri Attack, Fury Swipes, and Encore on him. Next up, we got Torched the Flareon with the Cloud 9 ability, level 32. No item, but rocking the Ember Bite, Quick Attack, and Rock Smash. Next up, we got Loafed the Shellgon with the Shield Dust ability. No item, but he's got Outrage, Bite, Ember, and Headbutt. Then we got Smash the Mewtwo. Level 33 is paralyzed with the White Smoke ability. Uh, Rock and Confusion, Disable, Swift, and Barrier. Then we've got Rattled the Gyarados with the Syn Rattled the Gyarados with the Synchronized ability. Level 31 with Bite, Dragon Rage, Hydro Pump, and Surf. Then we got Rubbed the Jirachi, Psychic, Swift, Helping Hand, and Rest with the insomnia ability that's gonna be it the only thing i remember is that we weren't using rubbed that much anymore because i wanted to wait to a grinding montage to train him up because he's not the greatest legend to get but a he still is a legend but yeah so what's been going on why have i been afk in case you're not following me on twitter which you totally should be if you're not like go ahead Check the description down below. It has all my social media. But definitely, if you're only going to choose one to follow me on, follow me on Twitter. Because that's where I post when a new video goes live. What's going on with my life. And just, you know, it's the best place to get in contact with me. And again, I do answer all the comments down below. If you comment on a video, I will definitely answer it. Um, but yeah, if you really need to con get in contact with me, send me a DM on Twitter. That's the best possible way. And the that's the quickest I'll respond because if you hit me up on Twitter I get notified on my phone so yeah but in case you haven't been following me on Twitter there's just been everybody home um, like on vacation and stuff everybody's been having vac has been taking vacations everybody's been home so like there's been a lot of background noise that my mic has been picking up so I haven't been able to record um, So yeah, so like I haven't been able to record, so I had no choice but to kind of just wait. And like right now I'm talking a bit lower because everybody's actually asleep right now. And it's one of the few times that everybody went to bed early. I was like, I let's do a recording, there's no background noise, everybody's asleep. It's a beautiful time, and I also wanted to get do a recording so I can get a video up to you guys uh, for whenever. Right now, it's Thursday as of recording this, so I don't know if I'm going to get this up today, tomorrow, sometime this weekend, not sure yet. I'm not even too sure of the recording schedule I'm going to be following, because right now my plan, even though I'm not really doing it right now, I want to blitz through this game. I want to try to get this Nuzlocke over before Sword and Shield goes live next Friday. So if that means i got to make it daily until next Friday, which... That's only if I can get it daily, if I can record enough to get it daily, then that's going to happen. Um, but if I can't, then it's going to overlap into Sword and Shield. But I don't think anybody's going to be watching this series once Sword and Shield begins, because everybody's going to want to see Sword and Shield content, which I do plan on bringing immediately to the channel. Starting Friday night, I'm going to be staying up till everybody goes to sleep. And I'm definitely going to be recording some... Uh, I'm going to be recording content that night for Sword and Shield. I'm going to have two simultaneous playthroughs on my own because I'm actually, actually, I might even start at Thursday night. I think Thursday night I'm going to stay up until it releases at midnight, if it is releasing at midnight, that is. Uh, if it releases at midnight, then I'm going to stay up to midnight to record stuff for it. However, if it's not, then, oh well. Um, and that's going to suck. Then I'll only be staying up Friday and hoping, and I'll be staying up Friday, 
recording at least one episode, if not two or three, and recording it that night, uh, editing it that night, so I can get it up for you guys that Saturday, if possible. But yeah, that's gonna be my goal: is to try to get it up for you as soon as possible. Oh, a twisted spoon! Do I not have? Wait, don't I have one already? Isn't that like my third twisted spoon? Nope, that must be a different. Oh, wasn't that in the last nut, last Nuzlocke? The first time that we did Emerald, we just got a bunch of Twisted Spoons. I think, something like that. But yeah, I want to get Pokemon content up for you guys as soon as possible. And since I'm going to be playing it on my, on my own, like on my own time, um, I think I'm just going to jump straight into a Nuzlocke. Like, I think the first series, the first series isn't going to be a Let's Play. The first series on the channel, first Sword and Shield, it is going to be a Nuzlocke, because I'll be playing it on my own, in my own time, uh, when people are awake at home. So since I'll be playing it on my own, on my own time, I'll know the story, I'll know what's coming, so like, you're not going to get any live reactions out of me, so I'll know like, should I train or not, and yeah, either way, I could, I, I'm still going to be googling like, levels and stuff to know, should I be training. But yeah, I'm definitely going to, um, I'm definitely just going to hop right into a Nuzlocke, and I can already tell you. Actually, I can't already tell you who my starter is going to be, because, like, I've seen the leaks, I'm not going to lie. I saw all the leaks back when the leaks were first coming out, before everybody had to take down their videos. I was actually planning on doing a leak video, talking about the leaks, discussing them, before all the leaks got taken down, because... Nintendo just came hard. Nintendo and their lawyers just came in through the door. They busted down the door and they're like, Yo, no bueno. This isn't happening right now. You can get in trouble. So everybody, like, even though it's not illegal to talk about leaks and stuff, um, it's just a safety precaution that all the YouTubers were doing. So I'm like, I'm not going to go into it, even though I'm small and they wouldn't come after me. But like at the same time, I'm small. So I'm like the best target, like especially if they can sue and get money out of it. I'm the one of the best targets since I'm small. But, um, yeah. But either way, so I didn't want to talk about it, the leaks, but stuff that is revealed, I can talk about. Um, it's just, I don't know who I'm going to be picking for the Let's Play on the channel. See, I know on my own, in my own playthrough, I'm going to be choosing Grookey. Grookey is going to be my... He is definitely going to be the Pokemon I choose for my own solo play on my own. Uh, so because of that, I don't know if I really want to choose Grookey as well in my series. But at the same time, I think I will because there's a chance. I'm not sure yet. I haven't even started talking about it. But I'm talking to a GFX artist right now about getting uh, a logo made for my competitive team for Sword and Shield, because I do plan on doing draft leagues when Sword and Shield comes out, and I think I am going to be bringing them to the channel. Uh, I think I'm going to try to get a YouTuber Discord, uh, not a YouTuber, a YouTuber Pokemon draft league in-game, because in case you haven't seen one of the newest trailers, one of the newest trailers, uh, one of the newest trailers showed how easy it's going to be to get competitive Pokemon. Like, you could change... You could change your Pokemon's natures now, which is the hard, one of the hardest things about building a competitive team. Also, the Calciums seem like they're going to be doing more, and you can max out your EVs. Your, your EVs? No. Your IVs. No, your EVs. One of the two things. You can max them out via um, Calciums and stuff. So, what else was I going to say? Oh, and then there's also the eggs move transferring. Uh, two two Pokemon of the same species can transfer the egg moves between each other. That's cool without like rebreeding. So like, let's say you get like, let's say you breed, you end up getting like a shiny, um, I don't know, a shiny Eevee for your Sylveon. Okay, you can just breed another Eevee to pass down the egg moves. So that's like sick. That's 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 so sick. Um, but yeah, I just love that it's going to be a lot easier, so I think I might do a Pokemon, um, uh, Draft League here on the channel, and it's going to be with other YouTubers, I'm looking at small YouTubers, 
Like there's even this guy on Twitter that I saw that wants to do a tournament with your regular playthrough teams. And I'm like, yo, dude, you do that? I am so in. I would be so down for that. Um, but I'm also thinking about just doing a competitive draft league with other YouTubers. So if you're watching this video and you're another YouTuber, let me know down in the comment section down below if you would be interested in doing a draft league with other YouTubers. Like, the the fewest people that we would need is like, eight. I would want to get at least 8 YouTubers, YouTubers in on it. However, we could, if we could get up to like 12 or something, that would be really cool. Like, I know a couple guys that would be so down for a draft league, however, they don't really do YouTube, so that kind of sucks. Um... I know one of them is thinking about doing it, so if he wants to do it, I'd be like, yo, dude, join in. And also, your experience in Draft League, your experience in competitive Pokemon battling, how good you are at it, doesn't really matter. Uh, I've been doing competitive Pokemon battling for about a year or two on and off. Like, I'll do six months on, six months off, two months on, two months off, blah, blah, blah. And um, I'm not the greatest. I don't know everybody's best nature best sets i don't know what move every single move they have like after you look at the smoke on analysis mid battle a lot of times uh i don't know exactly how much damage each move is going to do like i'm there damage calculating all the time so like it's gonna be interesting for me too but i want i think bringing a competitive pokemon series uh a competitive pokemon battle series to youtube will make me want to get better because i would not want you guys sitting here seeing me lose all the time like and i'm gonna admit it one of my biggest uh defects in competitive po pokemon battling is bulky pokemon i suck at building a team to take hits i always come in with fast physical mods which is why my favorite pokemon uh draft league pokemon is megalopunny but megas are gone so i'm screwed <laughs> So I'm gonna have to rely on Gigantamax Pokemon, which can only last three turns? Nah. No bueno. No bueno. When I think about it, I wonder if you Gigantamax a Pokemon. I wonder if it can't leave the field. That would be a way to nerf Gigantamax Pokemon. Yeah, they could Gigantamax. They become ultra powerful. They're stuck in the field. They're, they arena trap themselves. That would be cool. Because that would kind of be like, if you have like a counter or two, Further Gigantamax Pokemon, they would have to. You would, uh, if they have a counter or two for your Gigantamax, um, you would have to wait till late game till you get those Pokemon out of the way, in order to just G Max and dominate. There's gonna be games where you go the entire game without even G Maxing, probably, because, like. You keep having to switch in and out that Pokemon, then by the time you can actually G-Max, it's just not worth it in the end. Hmm. Or if G-Maxing is going to take one turn, it takes one turn to G-Max, and then you have three turns of the Pokemon G-Max. Ooh. Ooh, real talk. I wonder what's going to happen there. Oh, I should have doubled down on Primeape. Oh, this was a mistake, probably. I don't think he can one-hit me. Raichu, that's okay. Ember. Get a burn, get a burn, get a burn. Okay, he focused energy. That's okay. That's okay. Yo, Slack level 35. We are one level away from getting that evolution. Huge power, huge power. Let's go. We're crossing our fingers. We're crossing our toes. We're crossing everything. We're clenching our butts. We want huge power on this last thing. That would be so sick. But yeah. Back to the question at hand. That's going to be the question of the day, too. Uh, would you be interested? Like, if you're just a viewer and you're not a YouTuber, let me know if that would be something that interests you is, like, smaller PokeTubers, like, under 1K, um, or even under 100, or under 200, maybe. Like, I know some YouTubers, but they're, like, some of them are under 100, some of them are over. And, you know... They're really sick guys. I would love to do a series with them. Um, but yeah. Let me know if you would be interested in a series of like us. And let me know if you, if you're just a viewer, right? But you know a YouTuber that would be like, or uh, yeah, if you know a YouTuber that would be interested. Or if you know, or if you think, blah, blah, blah. 
Apparently I can't speak English today for some reason, and it's my main language. Apparently I just can't speak today. Or if you know another YouTuber that you would really like to see be in this draft league, tell them or tag them on Twitter and be like, yo, this guy, meat slightly salted, he wants to make a small YouTuber draft league. Dude, get in on him. Help him organize it. Do it together, boys. Let's get it. And yeah, let's get this bread. That would be so down. But, um, yeah, definitely hit me up in the comment section down below or even on Twitter if you, that would be something that interests you. Wait, I already came from downstairs. Let's go. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. I had to scratch my face. I had to scratch, like, my beard. My beard's growing. I haven't shaved in, like, a week and a half. And it's going a lot down my neck, and I'm not a fan of it. Maybe tomorrow I'll shave. No, tomorrow I'm going to shave. Tomorrow I legit don't have school. I only work at 5 p.m. Ooh, the, the boy needs to shave. Alright, this has been pretty easy. Not that much, not much power coming our way. Uh, then again, we are using like a level 35. Uh, hmm. Hmm. The turn of events, eh? The second I said this has been pretty easy. Bang, revenge. I didn't know Pinsir had revenge by level 26. I knew he had seismic toss. Did not know he had revenge. I was confusion you were gonna kill. Yeah, okay, we're immune too. Oh yeah, bug doesn't resist psychic, does it? I thought bug resisted psychic. My bad. I think that's a Dragonite. Um, I'm gonna leave smashed in here. I could go into sh uh to loafed, but still. Uh, but I don't want it. Just in case he has a dragon type move. Like I know he has twister for sure. But I don't know if he has anything else. Ooh, getting that crit with smash. What a beauty. Let's heal up loaf, not loafed. Let's heal up slacked. Before we head into this battle, max potion. We gotta sell that revive later. We can't use it anyways. Go to pop. Oh, well, we should just use another super potion. My bad. My bad. I thought I thought we were at 110 now in health. All right, Team Aqua. Well, let's get it. Oh, this guy also gives us a static cast form. Let's see what it's gonna end up being. A second there i thought i wasn't recording and i kind of had a mini panic attack i'm like nah it's been like 15 minutes into the recording and i wasn't recording are you kidding me oh you're gonna eat this you're gonna eat this Ooh. are you more specially defensive chancy or is it just because i'm seven levels higher than you hey we're getting a slacking boys if this slacking has true want i'ma kill somebody i'ma kill somebody rattled get in here take on this fanfy Alright, we are gonna go for that surf. We're gonna go for surf. Surf's gonna kill for sure. And we don't wanna we don't wanna miss anything. We don't wanna keep missing and then he starts using rollout and stuff and just sweeps and he won't sweep us, but like possibly kill somebody. Let's go. Let's go. Beauty. You're gonna learn swagger? No, you're not. I don't take that risk of swagger. Uh, we gotta wait to see his, to see his new ability. Oh my god, the tension. <laughs> Make your guesses right now, live, in the comment section down below. What do you think he's gonna be? Nobody's gonna do that, but still. That's for him. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Let me nickname it. A swallow. I not bad, not bad. 
We need a name where our names are ending in ED, right? Loafed, yeah, smashed, yeah, rattled, yeah, ED. Um, swallow, swallow, lowered, swallowed, slightly swallowed, sure. Sexual in a window there, but it's all right, it's all right. Can't demonetize a guy that isn't even monetized. Let's go. Slightly swallowed. Maybe in the next series, if we have enough comments going on, I might just nickname all my Pokemon after people that comment. Possibly. Actually, the next series is going to be Sword and Shield, so maybe in the series after that. Because the next series, Sword and Shield, I feel like it won't have many comments. I feel like the viewers won't even be that high because everybody's going to be watching um, the bigger names. Yo, I'm forgetting to check out the ability. Let's check that out. Let's check that out live. Pokemon. Moment of truth. Shield dust. He got Loaf's ability. I'm okay with that. It's not negative. It's not a negative ability. It's all that matters. Alright, we're gonna train him up to 36. We're gonna train everybody up to 36, I guess. That's gonna be the level we're gonna try to get everybody up to. I took a lucky egg, right? No, I didn't. Oh my god. Uh, bag. Uh, I don't know how much that sells for. Uh, toss both of these, because they only sell for like 50 anyways. Oh, yo, here's a funny story. Um, okay, so back in the day, when I first got my randomizer, I was like, sweet, I'm gonna start randomizing games, start playing them, play some randomized Nuzlocke. I was like, sweet. I was doing this up to a year ago. Up to a year ago, I'd be randomizing the game, and I'd get the miscellaneous, and one of the options in miscellaneous is ban lucky egg. Okay. I didn't really know what a lucky egg was apparently until a year ago, but kind of did. I've been watching Pokemon for a while, and like when I started watching United Gamer 101, even though it doesn't really go by the 101 anymore, and Vinny and all them, they started getting so hyped with lucky eggs. And I'm like, what's the hype over a lucky egg? Then I realized while watching them, but this was like going back a year and a half ago. But for half a year, I just every time I look at lucky egg, I would think mystery egg now back in the day from when i would remember as a kid growing up if you had a mystery egg that means your game was broken it was a bad egg like that's what that's what i remember a mystery egg being a mystery egg was a bad egg which which would mean the egg would either never hatch or if it did hatch it could break your entire game so i was like oh yeah definitely i don't want my game broken who would want to keep the lucky egg in there so I banned it, and banned it, and banned it, and banned it. And now I'm here today going, wow, I was so stupid. I, like, I would ban the lucky egg for so- I've been playing randomized games for like- It's my technically fourth, so seven years. I've been playing randomized Nuzlocke for seven years. By the way, I've won so little. Thinking about that, I should have swapped because you're still in outrage, right? Oh, that's okay. This will be last turn of outrage. Um, no, it's got to be less than seven. I've only known my friend for like seven. It's been like five. It's been like five. The numbers are okay, but still, I've only been averaging like one win a year. That ain't that great. Um, that ain't get great, Chief. But that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> the reason I've only been that winning one a year it's more like it's probably like two or three a year but still the reason i've been winning that little is because like uh i'll play like like three months straight i'll play nuzlocke i'll play the games on my phone the emulators and stuff and then i just won't touch them for like i don't know like six months just because i'm like eh whatever like i used to play them all the time when i was taking the bus to school but then when i got a car like you can't really play and drive well you can but i don't want to die so I just kind of stopped.
playing them, and I would only play them in between classes. Ooh, Moltres, let's get into Rattled. Um, but yeah. Where was it going? But just, yeah, I used to bat a lucky egg all the time, and now I feel so stupid. I'm like, mm, who would want a lucky egg? I don't want my game to get broken. No. You want the lucky egg, kid. Always remember, kids, you always want the lucky egg. Come on, could you not just die? I swear to God, May, if you... Oh, why am I not using Hydro Pump? We're in the rain. Oh, I figured she would heal. Figured she would heal. We're in the rain. Hydro Pump is 100% accurate in the rain. I done messed up. That's alright, though. But yeah, so just... That's a... Uh, stupid stories with Slightly Salted. Or salty stories. So that's what we should call them. We should call them salty stories. Maybe one day I'll have an entire thing just called salty stories. But they should be stories that I get like really salty about. Salty sessions. Where I just rant about stuff. That would be a good name for it. See, I've been thinking about doing a series like that for a while. Like, like a weekend series. Like maybe once a month or once every couple weeks. Where I just... Do an entire video where I just rant about it, something that happened. Like, there's something that happened to me. Like, it's going back a year, but every time I think about it, it grants my gears. I ju I'm just unscrewing that top of salt, and I'm just dumping all the salt in there. Dumping all my salt whenever I'm just going on a rant about that, because I've ranted about it. I've ranted to my girlfriend, my best friend, strangers on the street, any old guy that I see reading the newspaper. You'll understand one day when I share that story. But, oh my god that woman annoyed the living shit out of me Whew. oh i'm getting heated right now just thinking about it. i'm getting salt and salty salty oh so salty heated slightly heated now nah, heated would be my brother logan slightly spicy spicy Follow him on Microsoft. <laughs> that's all he has. Is he has a um, Xbox Live account. That's about it. No Facebook. He's only like... He's turning 11. He's turning 11, yes. He's only like 11. So yeah, he doesn't have Facebook or Twitter or anything else besides an Xbox account. So, follow him on Microsoft. Follow him on live? Yeah. I would honestly love to bring him on for a series one day. If you ever catch my streams, I would like to say he's in there, but, like, he's in the chat. He's in the chat in the streams, but he's not really in the video. Like, sometimes he would be in the video, but not him himself. Like, I'll be playing with him, but you can't hear him talk because Twitch has a rule of that you have to be over 13... Right now, I can't decide if I want to stream on Twitch or Mixture. On Mixture. Mixer. Can't decide if I want Twitch or Mixer. So, um, I don't know if the rule is 13 for Mixer 2. But just in case it is, I don't let his voice go into it. I kind of mute him. But yeah. Um, but yeah, one day when he's older, I would totally love to bring him on channel. Uh, whether it's him or another brother of mine, I have a lot. I have five brothers, one sister. We're seven in total. I know, it's a lot. No, just thank you. You can definitely see one of my brothers. I feel like I've talked about this before. You'll definitely see one of my brothers on the channel eventually. Like, especially since there's a Soul Link variation that I want to do one day with one of my brothers. It would be a soul link, but like, not a soul link. It no, it'd be a soul link with additional rules and stuff. And um, you'll just see it one day. One day you'll see it for sure. Um, I'd love to soon do it sooner than later, but like right now, I don't think my computer would be able to handle two gameplays going on at once on the computer itself. So I don't want to do that yet. But definitely one day you can see that happen, for sure.
whether it's in a year or two years, who knows. Who knows, I might end up, like, introducing that type of Nuzlocke variant, that type of Soul Link variant, with somebody else instead of my brother. With maybe a close friend, if I could ever get him to do a series. I would love to get my best friend on here to do a series with me, but I don't think he would. Because, like, he doesn't really play Pokemon that much. I know what game it would take. It would get, it would take us doing... Um, it would take us doing Pokemon, uh, Diamond and Pearl. I would love to do a Soul Link with him on Diamond and Pearl. Ooh. Maybe I can get him to do a series with me. Hmm. Interesting. The entire series would probably be on my channel because he's not doing YouTube unless I could convince him to do YouTube. But I know if I could convince him to do YouTube, it, he would not do, um, he wouldn't do Pokemon. He's not that big of a Pokemon player. I just know it would have to be Diamond and Pearl for me to get him to do it because Pearl was like his favorite Pokemon game. It is his favorite Pokemon game. It was like the only one he would actually play nonstop growing up. So... I wonder if I could get him into it and convince him to do one. Hmm, interesting, interesting. You might be peeping a soul link eventually. If I get him to do it, it would probably be during the winter break. What the heck? Oh yeah, we can't go in this grass on our bikes. My bad, my bad. Oh, that's probably actually gonna be the last trainer for this episode and then we're gonna be talking to Steven and possibly taking on the gym in the next episode depending on our level situation you know what I might just guns blaze it I might go in outrage won't one shot but it'll definitely kill in two yep I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take on gym next episode we're definitely gonna take on all the gym trainers and then maybe judge it based on that because if like the gym has a really strong Pokemon then yeah, that's problematic. And I definitely want to win our first series on the channel. I know this is technically like a 2.0. This is technically the second series on the channel. But I'm not counting the first one. But either way, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, hit that like button down below. I usually save state. I usually don't save like this anymore. Because of the audio issues from last series. Hopefully I didn't I didn't just ruin this series once again. So if I did, we're probably gonna do the entire series again within a week, but on double speed to make sure we beat it in a week. But either way guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, hit that like button, answer the question of the day. If you are a YouTuber, would you like to be in a YouTuber in a small YouTuber Pokemon League? A competitive Pokemon draft league. Um and if you're just a viewer who would you like to see out of other small YouTubers be in this league with me? Let me know down below in the comment section down below. Or tweet at me who you would like to see or tweet at me if you are interested. But yeah guys, that's going to be it for this. If you're enjoying the series so far, please hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay salty.